Did you know that not all large scaly water-dwelling reptiles are the same? That's right. The world of crocodilians is far more diverse and captivating than you might imagine. Today we're going to introduce you to three distinct members of this ancient lineage, the crocodile, the alligator, and the caiman. Each of these formidable creatures boasts unique characteristics that set them apart from their reptilian kin. From the sun-drenched riverbanks of Africa to the shadowy swamps of the Americas, these prehistoric predators have carved out niches in some of the most challenging environments on Earth. Take the crocodile for instance, the epitome of reptilian ruthlessness. Known for their elongated V-shaped snouts and a daunting set of teeth that remain visible even when their mouths are closed, crocodiles are a force to be reckoned with in their aquatic domains. Then we have the alligator, a creature of the new and old world. With their broader U-shaped snouts and an upper jaw that conveniently hides their teeth when their mouths are shut, alligators are a bit more discreet about their dental assets yet, no less intimidating. And finally, the caiman. These smaller yet equally captivating crocodilians are native to Central and South America. They sport a head shape that's a unique blend of their crocodile and alligator cousins, along with some spectacular osteoderms, bony plates, adorning their bodies, making them a sight to behold. Each of these reptiles has evolved to master their environment, exhibiting an intriguing blend of power, cunning, and adaptability. They're not just survivors, they're symbols of evolutionary success, a testament to the relentless march of natural selection. But what is it that truly differentiates a crocodile from an alligator, or a caiman from a crocodile? Is it just about the shape of their snouts or the visibility of their teeth, or is there more to the story? Get ready to delve deeper as we unravel the mysteries behind these fascinating creatures, uncover the secrets of their anatomy, explore their diverse habitats, delve into their behaviors, and trace their evolutionary lineage. It's time to decode the reptilian riddle. First, let's decode the physical differences among these reptilian giants. The anatomy of crocodiles, alligators, and caimans reveals unique adaptations honed over millions of years. Although they might look similar at first glance, each species has its own distinct features. Starting with the snout, crocodiles boast a V-shaped snout that's long and pointed. This design is perfect for a diet that includes a variety of prey, from fish to large mammals. Alligators, on the other hand, have a broader U-shaped snout, ideal for crushing the shells of turtles and crustaceans. And then, there are the caimans with their characteristically blunt and short snouts, a design that's great for nabbing smaller prey in their South American homes. Next, let's talk about teeth. Crocodiles have a fourth tooth in their lower jaw that is larger than the rest and visibly sticks out when their mouths are closed. In contrast, the teeth of alligators are neatly tucked away, invisible when the mouth is shut. Caimans also have concealed teeth, but their dental structure is more similar to that of the crocodile. Size is another distinguishing factor. Generally speaking, crocodiles are the largest, capable of reaching up to 20 feet or more. Alligators are slightly smaller with the biggest recorded at about 19 feet. Caimans are the smallest of the trio, with the largest species, the black caiman, reaching up to 15 feet. These differences in anatomy aren't just for show, they reflect the diverse lifestyles and habitats of these reptiles. A crocodile's narrow V-shaped snout enables it to swiftly slice through water while hunting. An alligator's broader snout provides the power needed to crush hard-shelled prey. Caimans, with their compact snouts, are adept at snapping up smaller, more elusive prey. Understanding these physical distinctions can help us identify these reptiles in the wild. So, the next time you see a large, scaly creature lounging on a riverbank, take a closer look. Is it a crocodile, an alligator, or a caiman? Now, you'll know. Now where can we find these scaly inhabitants in the world? Crocodiles, alligators, and caimans, these fascinating creatures are found across the globe, each preferring a unique habitat that suits their lifestyle and physical adaptations. Let's start our journey with the crocodiles, the most widespread of the three. From the scorching landscapes of Africa's Nile River to the tropical backwaters of northern Australia, these creatures have adapted to a wide range of environments. These environments include freshwater rivers and lakes, as well as brackish waters where the river meets the sea. Next, we have the alligators, primarily residents of two regions, the southeastern United States and the Yangtze River in China. The American alligator is a familiar sight in the swamps and marshlands of states like Florida and Louisiana, while the Chinese alligator prefers the freshwater environments of the Yangtze River basin. Finally, caimans call the tropical regions of Central and South America home. From the murky Amazon to the Pantanal, 
the world's largest tropical wetland, caimans have mastered the art of survival in these diverse ecosystems. They are comfortable in a variety of water bodies from slow-moving rivers and swamps to mangrove shorelines and even man-made reservoirs. But why do these reptiles prefer these habitats? Well, it comes down to temperature and food availability. As cold-blooded creatures, they rely on their environment to regulate their body temperature. The warm, tropical climates are ideal for maintaining their metabolic processes. Additionally, these habitats provide ample food resources from fish and birds to small mammals, ensuring these apex predators never go hungry. Each species has carved out a niche in their respective environments, contributing to the health and diversity of these ecosystems in significant ways. They are expert hunters, scavengers, and even architects, digging deep holes in riverbanks that provide water for other species during dry periods. These diverse habitats shape the lives and behaviors of our reptilian friends. From the Niles crocodiles to the alligators of the Everglades and the caimans of the Amazon, each creature has found its place in the world, a testament to the remarkable adaptability and resilience of these ancient predators. Let's turn our attention to the behaviors and ecological roles of these formidable reptiles. Crocodiles, alligators, and caimans may share a common ancestry, but their behaviors and ecological roles are as distinct as their physical characteristics. Let's take a closer look. Crocodiles are known for their opportunistic feeding habits. They are apex predators and will consume anything that crosses their path, from fish and birds to larger mammals. This diverse diet helps maintain balance in their ecosystems by controlling the population of various species. Alligators, on the other hand, are more selective eaters. They prefer a diet of smaller prey, primarily fish and invertebrates. However, they won't shy away from larger prey when the opportunity presents itself. Their feeding habits also play a crucial role in their ecosystems, keeping the populations of their prey in check. Caimans, much like alligators, have a preference for smaller prey. Their diet largely consists of fish and crustaceans, but they also feed on small mammals and birds. By preying on these species, caimans contribute to the overall health and diversity of their habitats. Now let's shift gears and talk about nesting behavior. All three reptiles lay eggs but their nesting habits are markedly different. Crocodiles lay their eggs in mounds of vegetation, using the heat generated by decomposition to incubate them. Alligators meanwhile build nests out of mud, sticks and vegetation on the banks of their habitats. Caimans like alligators create mound nests, but they often do so in more secluded areas to protect the eggs from predators. Lastly, let's explore the social dynamics of these reptiles. Crocodiles are generally solitary animals, whereas alligators and caimans are more social, often seen basking in groups. These social structures impact their territorial behaviors and mating rituals, further differentiating them from one another. These behaviors not only make them unique, but also vital components of their ecosystems. They help maintain the delicate balance of life in their habitats, proving once again that nature's diversity is its greatest strength. Finally, we travel back in time to uncover their evolutionary history and forward to discuss their conservation status. Let's set the clock back to the Mesozoic era, often referred to as the Age of Reptiles. It was during this time that the ancestors of our modern-day crocodiles, alligators, and caimans first made their appearance. These ancient reptiles have survived multiple mass extinction events, evolving and adapting over the course of more than 200 million years. They've seen dinosaurs rise and fall, witnessed the shifting of continents, and endured drastic climate changes. Fast forward to today. Our crocodilians have evolved into apex predators, perfectly adapted to their various habitats. From the slender, elongated snouts of gharials, designed for catching fish in fast-flowing rivers, to the broad, robust jaws of alligators, capable of cracking turtle shells, each species showcases a unique set of adaptations that have allowed them to thrive in their respective environments, but the march of evolution doesn't guarantee survival in the face of human-induced threats. Habitat loss, pollution, poaching, and human-wildlife conflict pose real and immediate challenges to these extraordinary reptiles. Crocodiles, for instance, are hunted for their skin, which is used in fashion and luxury goods. Caimans, on the other hand, face habitat loss due to deforestation and urbanization. And alligators, though making a remarkable recovery from the brink of extinction in the 20th century, continue to grapple with habitat encroachment. So what's being done to protect them? A number of conservation efforts are underway across the globe. These include habitat protection and restoration, anti-poaching measures and captive breeding programs. 
Education and community outreach also play a crucial role in promoting coexistence and mitigating human-wildlife conflict. In the end, the survival of these magnificent creatures depends on our willingness to understand and respect them. The more we learn about their unique characteristics, behaviors, and ecological roles, the better equipped we'll be to ensure their continued existence. Remember, understanding and respect for these creatures can help ensure their survival for future generations.